I invite you to join with me in the spirit of meditation and prayer this morning. And as you settle in for this time, you might want to lower your gaze or close your eyes. And I invite you just simply to move a bit wherever you are seated, if you're here with us or if you're at home, and just be aware of what's happening in your body. Sometimes when we are in the face of things that are stressful or frightening or sad, we find ourselves holding that tension in our body. So I invite us just to roll our shoulders and move our neck, if that's a good thing for us to do, not if it's not. Maybe just plant your feet more firmly on the uh, carpet before you or the floor or the dog if you're at home. And let's just take a deep breath and let it out. There is wisdom in our bodies and we need to always invite it into the room. Spirit of life, God of love and unity, be with us as we gather here in our various ways this week. Guide our feet as we go on the journey sometimes that we did not ask to take. Guide our feet especially when we are scared or when we are in grief or when we are angry. Spirit, we ask that we not be limited by a need to be forever sunny, rather than to engage with the realities of life that is around us, the deep truths of our lives, the deep truths of our neighbors. Allow us to be present to what is true among us today. God of love, remind me that I am held if I look at my own fears rather than trying to hide from them or distract myself from them, and allow me to ask the question, if I can face my own fears, how might I better be able to hear the fears of those I love around me? In this week, when this community has been touched by a deep sorrow. May I allow my tears, rather than trying to hide behind anger or endless attempts to make sense of the nonsensical. And if I do this, how might I be better able to sit with others who need to lament and cry? God of unity, if I can give quiet voice to my own anger rather than inventing grievances or continuing to bring my anger out on others in small ways, how might I be able to receive the anger of others when they need a quiet and safe place to receive it so that it does not build up. How may I learn to be more gentle with myself and with others? How may I be present to the fullness of my life, its joyous parts, its joyous heights, and its sadder depths? How might I move into the wisdom that comes from receiving all that life offers, even the parts that I do not want? We come together in this moment each week to ask in our hearts the questions for which sometimes there are no answers and for which almost always there are no easy answers. Let us end today 
with gratitude to have this space to hold together what we cannot hold alone. And may we continue to create these connections for one another so needed in this world. May we be the ones to make it so.